hello my fellow creators and welcome to my youtube channel <clears throat> for today's video i decided i would do a few birthday cards i have completely run out of cards for my stash my kids come in quite frequently and say hey mom you have a birthday card hey mom i need a birthday card mom any more birthday cards so i gave out the last one a few weeks ago and needed to make a few more so I actually made one for my daughter, my youngest, who turned 26 this month, and decided I'd make a few more following that um, theme. So I'm going to pull in a few of my Doodlebug stickers. I mean, do I have enough? And I have a binder where I keep all my stencils. So I thought I'd pull in a few stencils from here. I'm going to be using uh, Simon Says Stamps Triangle Blast stencil. I'll also be using Simon Says Stamps Polka Dot Party stencil. And last but not least, I'll be using a Scattered Heart stencil by Create a Smile. So those are the three I chose to use for these cards. I'm going to be doing some ink blending on the cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll be using my Distress Cubes and I'll be using Picked Raspberry, Candied Apple, Carved Pumpkin, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, Mermaid Lagoon, and Wilted Violet. As you can see, I've taped on the cardstock to the stencils so they'll stay still as I'm ink blending. I pulled out my blending brushes and get started on some rainbow ink blending.
got all the ink blending done, I'm going to cut down these panels just a bit so that I can map them on some black cardstock by Recollections. I then pulled out the Simon Says Stamps Sweet Birthday stamp set and pulled out the sentiment that says, It's your birthday. I'm going to be heat embossing that on some more black cardstock using Simon Says Stamps Clear Embossing Ink and Brutus Monroe's Alabaster White Embossing Powder. the sentiment embossed and trimmed down, I went ahead and attached that to my card panel and pulled in some of the stickers by Doodlebug. For this card, I pulled in these two cute little gnome stickers and I'm popping one up using Simon Says Stamps foam tape. The second little gnome I just lay flat on the card panel. Now that I've got those adhered where I want them, I pull out my ATG gun and adhere the panel to the black cardstock, creating a small black border to give it a nice look. For my next panel, I went ahead and pulled in that strip sentiment, trying to figure out where I want it on my panel. And then once I figured that out, I went ahead and adhered it using my ATG gun as well. At this point, I kind of like the way it looked at, as is, without adding any doodlebug stickers. So I left it alone and moved on to the next sentiment. For the next sentiment, I pulled in Simon Says Stamp on Edge stamp set and pulled in the sentiment that says, wishing you a happy day.
could have been and probably should have been complete. But I thought they needed a little bit of sparkle. So I pulled in some sequins I had in my stash from Simon Says Stamp, sprinkled them all over each of the cards. I brought in my art glitter glue and adhered the sequins just in a random pattern on each of the cards. To card bases and while I'm at it I'm adding some of the doodlebug stickers to the inside of the cards just to give them a more colorful look. Now here's a closer look at the three cards I made in today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. I truly appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. I would be thrilled if you subscribed to my channel or followed me on my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day.